Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Open House. Greg, welcome back to the seat. Yes, I missed out last week, but it's a pleasure to be back, Maltz. We had Big Brocky here instead, and we got through it without you, Greg. Right, eh, let's get into auctions. Just straight off the bat, what sort of properties Brocky should be auctioned? And you know, just talk us through the process of, like, there's that house, that house. Why would I auction that one and not that one? I've always taken the philosophy that um, you auction properties or recommend auction when you believe there's going to be multiple buyers for it. Right. Uh, quite often we go out and look at a property that you just know you're going to have to find an individual person to buy that home. Yeah. We don't auction those. But with the classics like the Bluestone Villas and older style classic homes close to the city where we know that there's going to be four or five people who will compete, that's when the owner gets the opportunity of picking up tens and tens of thousands of dollars yeah. extra by competitive uh, bidding at the auction. And clearance rates at the moment, Mike? Uh, clearance rate just under 70% uh, across the board for the weekend, 68% I think was the figure. Um, certainly from our point of view, uh, I think Lindsay Warner, our, uh, yeah. one of our major auctioneers, was calling himself that in the paper. Mr 100%. Yeah, four out of four, go <laughs> <Dave> boy. <laughs> yeah. I had 100% on the weekend, yeah. but it was 100% failure. <laughs> <laughs> How are we travelling out in the North East? Yeah, going really well. Really well indeed. The, so, um, uh, the clearance rates as far as properties going onto the market and time on market, how are we travelling there? Yeah, look, time on market is pretty good. In fact, we really can't get enough um, stock. We've got a real good bank of buyers out there at the moment. It's a market where we've got to get pricing right, so it still is uh, price sensitive. Yep. Um, but once we're right in that right bracket, there's good, good numbers coming through. Okay. What's your average sale price, Simo? Oh, look, in, 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 in the Golden Grove area, then you're looking at around, probably around the 450 type of, uh, uh, right. type of range, and in the uh, Mobbury area, around the 350. Okay. Uh, so it's a lot of first home range. buyers, so, investors? Oh, it's a fabulous place for first home buyers yep. um, out there in the marketplace, uh, uh, Michael. Why is that? Oh, look, it's just it's, it's affordable. Like we in Mobbury, in the suburb of Mobbury, mm. um, in this year alone, we've had 22 properties that buyers could buy under 300, starting from wow. 240. To two to two ninety five. Now a lot of those uh, buyers are working in the city yep. um, as well, um, so they can just jump onto the Oban, which is in uh, Tea Tree Plaza. There they can shoot to the city in uh, twelve minutes time, roughly. Cost wow. them twenty nine dollars to get ten trips. Fantastic for the week. Yep. nice and easy. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching Open House. Thank you very much indeed, and we look forward to seeing you again next Friday, twelve o'clock, as per usual. Over and out. Thank you.